Hi, Yarn of Bees. How are you today? <sighs> this is the first time I've been in this room since I took the yarn out. It's pretty depressing. Makes me want to cry. <laughs> it actually echoes in here now. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, I got some things, something I want to talk to you guys about. I'm, I'm on the struggle bus. Um, seems to be the theme of the month. <laughs> this is, this is a big struggle bus though. Um, I'm thinking about shutting down my channel. I've been looking at my analytics and my subscriber rate is down quite a bit. I'm losing subscribers every day. Uh, my watch hours are way down. Um, there's barely ever any comments. <clears throat> there's a few, uh, but you know, it's not as many as it used to be. Um, so I think what may have happened is since I've opened up my shop, I haven't been able to put out quite as much content, but I'm, I'm trying to put out content, but it's different content and it's not going over very well. So <clears throat> yeah, I'm doing the best I can with, um, what I have to work with, you know, but even if I didn't have my shop, um, I couldn't do like a video every day. I tried doing a, three videos a day on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, but I started to find that I just didn't have anything to talk about because when I do a project, um, it takes me some time to do that project. Like if I'm making a sweater or something like that, uh, I don't think you want to see amigurumi all the time. Um, and that's pretty much what my channel is right now because that's what's selling in my shop. Uh, once winter comes, then I'll get into doing sweaters and things. But, you know, I can only show so many hats, you know. And so I, I am really contemplating shutting Crochet A Canada down. Um, it takes a lot of time and a lot of work to put up videos and, you know, sometimes I don't think people quite understand what it takes to have a channel and it's sad because we work really hard to put content out. Um, if we're doing tutorials, it takes quite a lot of editing and, you know, every time you do a step, you videotape it and then you have to stop the video and then do a, a part of it and then start again. And there's a lot of editing to go along with that. Um, but just struggling to find content is a big thing. Um. I don't have the funds to do yarn hauls anymore since I lost my disability. Um, so yarn hauls are out. Um, I don't have the funds to do giveaways anymore. So that's out. Um, and that's a big part of the content that I put out here. So... <clears throat> I'm starting to feel that I don't have a whole lot to offer anymore. And I'm really trying hard not to cry. <laughs> um, you know, like I closed down my um, PO box because I didn't get any mail or anything. So I closed that down. Um, like I didn't get I didn't even get postcards, nothing. <laughs> so I'm starting to think that my channel has run its course. 
and it's very sad because I've been on YouTube now for, it's coming up on four years. My four year anniversary is coming up next month. And it was a good run. It was a good run. Um, so yeah. So I just want to let you guys know that that's kind of what I'm thinking about. That's what I'm bantering, bant, bat, batting back and forth. Um, you know, something I also noticed on my channel was the videos that got the highest views were tragedy videos. I don't like that. Right? Um, right now, as it stands, the video that I did for Nancy has got my highest views. Um, the other video I did about my sister's health, uh, that got high, high views. Um, a video about me getting into a car accident, that got high views. That's not the kind of channel I want to be, right? Like, that's, that's really sad. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, I don't know. I, I think that, um, the really, like the big, the successful, uh, channels that are happening now are the young kids that are doing Instagram and TikTok videos for the plushies. Um, they're doing craft fair prep videos and craft fair videos and how much they made at the craft fair videos and stuff like that. Um, that's not what my channel is about. I used to do the craft fairs and show you guys what it was, show you what the craft fairs were like, but um, I'm not doing craft fairs now. So, and I don't even remember how well those ones did. Um, the Christmas videos where I was opening gifts with somebody, uh, surprisingly, they didn't do as well as they did when I started doing that. So, anyway. So, yeah, so that's, that's it. That's what I'm thinking, guys. Um, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um. I've put a lot of work into this, this channel and I've got a lot of videos. So for me to just let it go, it's going to be like a tragic loss for me. Um, I'm not making any money on YouTube, you know, like I'm not. So, um, I do it for the love of, of doing it. I do it because I love you guys. I love hearing from you guys that that's the highlight of my day is waking up in the morning and seeing comments on my videos and when I get like five comments maybe ten comments on a video um that's all my OGs right that's that's my my ladies that have been around for since the beginning you know and so <clears throat> It starts to make me wonder if anybody's actually watching my videos. So, yeah. <clears throat> um, anyways, I'm going to go because I'm going to probably go and cry. And uh, I got my doctor's appointment today to see my surgeon for my hiatal hernia surgery that will be coming up at some point. Um, I'll probably put a community post out to let you guys know what... Uh, what he said and I just need some time to chew on this and see how I feel okay I love you guys I really do <laughs> so I will talk to you guys later